Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to help you save up for your first international trip. So the way I'm going to do this is to share with you how I personally have saved up for my first international trip to Egypt. So I want to start with a little bit of a background so there isn't any misunderstandings. So I've always wanted to travel. I've always wanted to explore the world and try to find out why people do certain things or why they do things the way they do them but at that time that dream was really unobtainable unachievable it was really impossible because i was you know i was a black guy from limpopo who had no clue what traveling was about i had no idea where to begin my salary was not good enough still isn't um but there are a few changes every now and again which allows me to be flexible and that really helps me a lot but without wasting much of your time let's get into it so the first thing that i always do is to make sure that i have money that i'm willing to spend for a particular tour available either in my credit card or in my flexible savings account which will allow me to basically book um, at any time should they be a special but I know that sometimes people don't even have that amount of money but if you're watching this video I think you are somewhere maybe you've been saving or you're trying to save I'm thinking that you you do have money set aside or saved up so maybe have that money always available for just in case something like an unexpected sale comes up and you have that money available and you can just book it right away so last year for me the amount that i actually wanted to spend for a tour was about five thousand rand i know that's so little but that's because my financial uh, status at that time couldn't allow me to go a little bit further than that so that's the amount that i've set for myself at my budget level at my financial level at that time so five thousand rand was the amount that i um, that I wanted to pay for a tour and I made sure that that money is always available in my credit card. So on Black Friday last year when the sale came and it was about 4,000 and something rand, I was like, you know what, this is my time. So I just I just booked it and I was, I was left with a couple of hundreds after that. So that helped me to actually just jump on the opportunity that was made available to me at that time. So if I didn't have that money available or if it was fixed somewhere and I had to, to ask the bank to unfix it and it would have taken like maybe 30 days. So that's a whole lot of process. So the first thing you should do is to basically have whatever amount of money you're willing to spend on a tour. Uh, oh yeah, the, the other thing that I actually wanted to make clear is the difference between a tour and a holiday. So I know there are lots and lots of holiday packages like Bali and Thailand and you know, what else, Mauritius and things like that. So I personally, personally don't like holiday packages mainly because they book for you flights they book for you accommodation and there's like breakfast included which is fantastic but for me um i like to experience the um the culture and the history and i like to explore and those holiday packages they don't really allow you to do that they they, they are fixed on holiday and you'd have to you know, find your own tour guide. You'd have to explore the city by yourself or with your friends and you'd have to Google for things. And, you know, it's, it's, it's tedious for me. <laughs> I try to avoid that stress that comes with, with that. And, and I, try to, I try to experience the culture and the history and, you know, the food and, you know, the experiences that, you know, holiday packages don't offer. Um, that's why I like tours. The other point that I actually wanted to add on top of that is to make sure that you're always subscribed to these tour companies' uh, newsletters. That's what I do. Um, I've subscribed to almost all of them and whenever they have a sale, I am one of the first people to actually get the email, like the 70% off special from Travel Talk. So, it's, it, it helps so much because sometimes they don't actually post that on their webs on their um, uh, Facebook pages and Twitter pages but sometimes they do and what I'll actually like to do as well is to go to their to their Facebook page and click 
um, I think you can do it under liked and you can select uh, see first. So whenever there's like a special or a deal or whatever they are offering at that time, there is you can you can actually see it first. So it appears whenever you log on to Facebook, it appears first on your newsfeed. So that helps you to see when something is cheaper and yeah, to book it right away. The other point really on top of that is to book immediately. Sometimes, you know, these deals are limited. Maybe they've got like five seats or, or 10, you know, people in a tour. So when that opportunity comes, just book it immediately with that money that you've got. Book immediately, it, it, it will save you a lot of money. The other thing, I think I also mentioned it, um, I think I also mentioned it, in my i think it was the 70 uh, the black friday 70 percent off deal from travel talk i think i mentioned this but uh just make sure when you do book make sure that you book 70 i nearly said 70 percent make sure that you book uh at least six months in advance to allow you to save up for for your flights for your um you know spending money and things like that so just make sure that you you book so well in advance to to allow you to to save up for the rest of the money for the tour but booking the tour is the first thing and most important thing that i think you should do because it will force you to save up for the rest of the other things so if you don't have something that you've booked or confirmed you always postpone your trip. There will always be excuses and your money will always have a purpose for, for something that comes. So the minute you use that money, the minute you actually uh, use that money for that trip, the rest of the money will... I somehow managed to save up. I don't know how I got the money, but I, I somehow made sure that it it, it happened <laughs> and the other thing I would suggest you guys do is to book your flights so well in advance I think airlines release their seats I think about 11 months in advance and they release those seats um, at the lowest possible prices so if you pay for your flights 11 months in advance you 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 literally just getting the cheapest rate possible but I know some people don't have that amount of money available maybe the flights is like 7,000 rand return flight is about 7,000 rand so what you can do actually to make sure that you lock down that lowest rate possible is to I know STA uh, start the adventure they do deposits so you can actually lock down that cheapest rate um, with a thousand rand if you do see a flight rate that is very very cheap I would say maybe contact STA and locked that um, a fair at a thousand rand now so that you can actually pay the rest i think you can pay the rest of the of the airfare i think 30 days before your departure so I, I wouldn't advise you to do that if you do have the money book it right away you don't have to wait for 30 days before the actual deadline comes so guys the other point that i wanted to share with you is if you want to save up for your i don't know what to call it spending money yeah, so whatever money that you're willing to spend in that country, say you want to spend 6,000 Rand, just calculate how much you are probably going to spend per day there, including, I don't know, entrance fees, food, drinks, you know, uh, activities, whatever it is. Just try and see how much per day you can save up that amount of money. I mean, you don't have to do it per day. You can do it per week, per month, but I would suggest that you probably try and do it weekly. Uh, maybe you can put 500 Rand away per week, depending how much you want to actually spend there. So that will help you save up. It's, it's, it's a little bit of money that just goes away. You, you'll probably just forget about it. Um, but if, you, if you're serious and you want to travel, you would try and sacrifice a couple of things that you normally do that you would use that money for um, and just put it aside and make sure that you save up because you really want to go to, to this country. So yeah, so I think I've covered everything. I've covered the tour price 
always making sure that it's available at your disposal just in case two i think i mentioned that you always have to sign up for newsletters to to make sure that you are aware of the latest deals three i think i said booking immediately is probably your best uh, option because it'll help you save up for the rest of the money it'll literally guys try it just book something it'll it'll force you to save up for the rest of the stuff four i think i mentioned you know booking your flights in advance if you do have the money if you don't have the money make sure that you pay that 1000 rand deposit just to lock down that low price very early in advance and five or six i can't remember what it was just estimate how much you're willing to spend per day in that particular country for your expenses and try and save that up per week per day or per month but i suggest doing that every week always over over budget for things because there will be unexpected uh, expenditures you don't want to go uh, to a country and you don't have enough money to you know to go on an experience or to eat out or whatever so just make sure you have enough money and you save up like i said do this at least six months six months guys that's not a lot of year that's not a lot of months so six months just make sure you 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 save up for that so it's it's not a lot of money i think you can do that you can i think you can save about 20 grand within six months and i definitely think that is enough money to just have the best time of your life in a different country so yeah guys uh, please let me know what you think of this video if you want to find out more just let me know and i'll be happy to answer all your questions so next year personally just a quick announcement i've already shared this on <laughs> on facebook and on my whatsapp status i'm going to turkey for about 19 days um and i'm gonna go to dubai as well for about three days so i'll be off um so uh, so i'm quite excited about that turkey for 19 days and i mean that's that's insane so i'm actually quite excited about that so i'll keep you guys in the loop i'm just hoping that this is not my last video for the year but if it is i hope you guys have a fantastic christmas holidays and a happy new year if i do not upload another video before the year ends again thank you so much guys for watching this video and um, yeah please share it with people who you think it is useful to and um, yeah thank you so much guys and if you are not a subscriber I don't know why you're watching this video and you're not subscribed like what's the point so please subscribe I think you can do that right here um, or this way I can whichever just click the button and click subscribe so yeah, thank you guys and cheers.